Today, we'll be showcasing the T Kinta GUI designer with an example. In this case, the example is the SQLite database browser, which we can see here. As we can see, this example has a variety of both widgets and also containers, so it's a great example to showcase a GUI designer with. Now, in terms of widgets, you can see them on the left hand side. As you can see here, we have combo boxes, buttons, of course, as well as line text boxes, a table spin boxes and also labels. In terms of containers, we can also see them here. However, to see them on the left hand side, click the containers and as you can see, here's the containers section. So, as we can see here, we can already see tabs. We can also see a group box as well here. Now, as for a widget, a widget you would need another pre-made or handmade example with to incorporate and directly embed inside of a GUI. For example, this could be another widget you made in the GUI designer which you wanted to replicate X amount of times and you can use that here. Now, the next section is IO widgets. Tkinter only comes with the COM widget and the TCP widget. As for instruments, as previously mentioned, instruments are only available in the Mac deck and MD Python GUI designs. Now, onto the right hand side. Now, with the right hand side, we can see the properties on the left hand side here and the values on the right hand side here. We have the X and Y coordinates which allows you to go to the exact pixel or you can also use the grid which latches on by a 10 by 10 pixel area. Now next is the width and height. The same thing applies. You can go by the pixel or you can also use the grid which will give you increments of 10. Now the next thing is the name. This is directly specific to the widget and helps it when being called in programming. Now, of course, we have the font and also the font color. And here we have the background color. We also have the option which enables you to change the cursor which hovers over the widget. So for example, you may not wish to use that on a button, but you may wish to use it on the progress bar. On a progress bar, you can choose a variety of widgets. For example, you can choose a circle, a shuttle, as well as a trek. Now, we also have enabled. This is just whether the widget is enabled. Typically, when disabled, it will be grayed out and of course, you won't be able to use it. Now, for the bottom part here, this is the text. This is the text of the widget, but however, if we were to click on a different widget, such as a line text box, we can see we can link it to an event function. The same goes for a button. For a button as well, we can also add images. So here, we see the event function, we see the text, and of course, the images. The event functions here is where you can add an event function and this will ensure that each time you make an update directly in your code that it will not be reversed by the GUI designer. Event functions also simplify the process by directly linking it and meaning you need to write as little code as possible and typically no code at all. And thank you. That is the end of the video today where we showcased just how easy it is to make, create and customize and also maintain Python GUIs in Tkinter with our GUI designer.